In this Vector Graphics tutorial, we're going to have a look at using Transform again to create the dial of an old-fashioned dial phone. We'll also use a few tricks and techniques in order to make the rest of the body and handset for the phone. We're going to start off by creating the dial part. And we're going to do this with some circles. Uh, I have here some mobile phones that were from a previous exercise, just making a little border. I'm going to go into my ellipse tool and I'm going to use the shift key to drag out a reasonable sized circle. And uh, I want to probably just fill that with white. And then I'm going to go to Object, Transform, and Scale. And I want to make something that is a smaller inner circle. Uh, so if I maybe make it something like 90% and preview that, that might not be enough. So I'm going to go to maybe uh, something like 80%. And that's a much more sizable change. And I'm going to choose copy. So this one here, I will make uh, a lighter, maybe make that white. And now what I want to do is to put a dial circle in this ring that we've created. Actually, I'm going to take this here and I'm going to scale it in a bit. So if I was to shift scale this in just a little bit smaller, 80% didn't quite do it. And then center to center, uh, that's looking like a better ring. Okay, so I want to then put uh, a single hole. Uh, actually, these mobile phones are interfering with my ability to line things up. So I'm just going to get rid of all of those. Okay, so with the circle tool, I want to go above the center. And then it's important I'm drawing circles and I'm drawing them from the middle out. So I'm going to use the Alt key to drag from the middle out the way. And I'm going to use the Shift key at the same time so that I'm getting a circle that just doesn't quite fill the ring. It's around about that size there. Okay. There are 10 digits, 0 to 9, around uh, a phone dial. Uh, although, if we actually have uh, a look at them, uh, we probably need to have a little bit of a space uh, between them. So, what I'm going to do is I've got the circle highlighted with my select tool. I'm then going to use the rotate tool. And what I need to do is to use the alt key and click at the center of this circle. So if I do that and click, it brings up my rotate dialog. And we can see that we're moving around within this ring. So it's 360 divided by the 10 digits that we have. If I toggle preview you can see where that's going to go that's looking fine and we're going to copy it instead of just moving it so if i do that copy and then control d so that i then get a set of 10 individual holes that we put our fingers into i'm going to use a little rounded rectangle there usually is a, a stopper that stops the dial from going too far so I'm just going to make something about that size and give it a kind of metallic gradient. And I'm then going to use the select tool. And if I go just outside the corner, so if I'm on the corner, it's a two-way arrow that's going to let me scale it. If I go just outside the corner, it changes to a curved two-way arrow that will let me rotate that into position. And then I can stick that there as the stopper that stops me dialing too far. So that is our dial that we're going to use on our phone. Uh, I'm going to highlight everything and group that together because I do want to scale it down just a little bit, so maybe a bit in the large side. 
So I'm going to use the shift key as I'm scaling to make sure that it's proportional and doesn't stretch tall or wide. And now I need to then make the body of the phone. So you can see we've done all this copying the hole, adding more holes. To make the body, we're then going to use some layers. So the layers will help us to arrange things here. So this layer here, uh, if I open this up, I can check, take layer one and I can rename that to dial. And what I then need to do is to add a new layer and the new layer is going to be called body. And I can work in this separately and not worry about interfering with these bits here. Okay, so how are we going to make the body then? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pathfinder tool to chop some bits out of a straightforward rectangle and then tweak and even it up with some effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a uh, straightforward rectangle. Uh, it will probably help if I do it from the center out because it's obviously around the dial. So I'm going to use the Alt key and drag out my uh, box around that dial like so. And I'm going to fill that with a red fill. I'm then going to take a, an ellipse and I'm going to go below the center here and maybe to this point here. And again, I'm going to use the Alt key to drag from the center out so that it's nice and symmetrical. And it shouldn't be too tall, maybe just about that much there is what I want to have. And I'm just going to change that color so that we can see what's going to get clipped away. I'm also going to use an ellipse at this side here and I'm going to do it around the corner anchor. So I'm going to use the Alt key to drag from the center out. And I want maybe something about that size. And I want it to be symmetrical, so I'm going to Alt-drag a copy of this and move it over till it intersects the other anchor point there. Now I didn't hold down Alt when I did that, so I just moved it, but I'll put a copy back there. Okay, time for Pathfinder. So we go to Window and Pathfinder. And what I then want to do is I want to highlight uh, these two bottom parts of the phone, not getting the dial, and I'm going to do minus front. And you see that's chopped off this bottom part. And then I'm going to highlight these side parts here and minus front. And then I'm going to highlight these side parts here and minus front. So I now have uh, a roughly uh, phone shaped body. Uh, I could add some little nubs. So I don't really, I think it's maybe not really made this particularly wide. But if I put a little nub there and then Alt drag it to the side and line it up with that one there, uh, what I can then do is highlight this top section and do this time instead of minus front, I'm going to do unite so that it gives me that classic shape. What I can now do is I can take this dial layer and I can drag it up and put it above the body layer and it will then appear in front of it. So we're just arranging, rearranging, a bit like center back, center front, but we're doing it with layers of this. One option you might want to try is to soften up the uh, corners of the shape that you have made. Uh, you can do this using an effect. So uh, what we can do is we can select our phone body and we can then try effect, stylize and round corners. Um, this sometimes causes problems, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to highlight my shape here. I'm going to go to Effect, Stylize, Round Corners. And if I preview that, so you can see it's not actually very round here. Uh, it's maybe made, made a reasonable job of the bottom end here. Uh, so I'm going to leave this for the moment. But on some shapes, the round corners might uh, work well for you. It depends how you joined it to the edge here.
Okay, our last uh, thing that we need to do then is to create the actual handset. And the handset is going to be made from a few different shapes. So we want a kind of curved section so that it holds one part to your ear and one part to your mouth. And we'll again use Pathfinder for that. And then we'll just join on some uh, rotated ellipses to make the earpieces. So I'm going to make a new layer for that so that it doesn't interfere with these bits here. Create new layer. Double click on that. Call it handset. And then I'm going to create an ellipse. And my ellipse, I'm going to start it from about the middle here and uh, Alt, use the Alt key so that I can drag that out. Maybe to about there. Uh, I think I could probably get away with just Alt dragging a copy of that down to about here. And then, so the two are uh, the same shape effectively, and then minus front leaves me with this banana-ish shape. Let me just take everything and uh, move it down a little bit so that it's on the page. So there we go, there's our banana-ish shape. Uh, I'm then going to take uh, an ellipse and I'm going to use the Alt key to drag from the middle and take it out to about that kind of size. And what I then want to do is to move it so that uh, it looks as if it's a continuation of this curve. Before I join that on, I'm going to use the Alt key and drag a copy of this over to the other side. And I'm just trying to, I should be able to do it with the guideline here, actually. If I do that, I've got a little bit of a kink here. So actually, I need to move it up. I want to make it look as if it's a continuation of this top curve. And I'll do the same with that side there. Highlight all those parts and then unite to join them together. And there we have our dial phone. Uh, in the old-fashioned style.